Today we will be showing you how to replace a tape drive in a Quantum Scalar i3 and i6 tape library. This replacement will not require downtime. However, you will need to stop any jobs running to the faulty drive before replacement. Additionally, if this is the control path drive of the library, you should stop library operations prior to replacing the drive as any commands to the library will fail during the replacement process. The i3 library will only accept half-height LTO drives and the i6 library will only accept full-height LTO drives. Additionally, this replacement procedure is only applicable for replacing drives with the same drive type. If you need or want to change drive types, please reach out to us at support at therocketplatform.com and we will assist you. The first thing you will need to do is identify which drive you need to replace via the web interface of the library. Once you have located the drive, you will also need to verify that the drive is empty before replacement. If there is a tape in the drive, you can use the web GUI to remove the tape. To do this, go to Drives and then select the drive you want to remove the tape from and then use the Eject option in the Operation section. Once you have verified the drive is empty, you can now vary the drive offline for replacement. In the aforementioned Drive section, ensure the drive you want to replace is selected and then select the Remove Vary Off option. The drive will then change state to Varied Off when this is completed. Now you can go around to the rear of the library and locate the drive. The drive state LEDs should all be off on the drive you need to replace. Disconnect the data cable going to the drive. Loosen the thumb screw on the drive completely and then locate the lock lever on the drive tray and slide it up while at the same time pulling the drive back and out of the library. You can now insert the replacement drive into the empty drive bay ensuring it goes all the way in and the lock lever clicks to secure the drive in place. Tighten down the thumb screw and then insert the data cable into the back of the drive. You can now return to the web GUI and select the drive from the list and select the Replace Vary On option. The drive will now vary on and initialize. This may take some time as the library has to write the dynamic information to the replacement drive. Once this is complete, the drive will display a Varied On status. You should now be able to resume operations on the drive. If you are having any difficulties with the drive replacement procedure or the replacement drive does not fix the errors you are having, please reach out to us at support at therocketplatform.com and we will be happy to assist you.